So the Manufacturing Moon competition uh, set apprentices uh, a challenge to rescue themselves from the moon surface uh, to a thousand metres above uh, the lunar surface and we devised a magnetic launcher which would launch us a thousand metres safely. For this model we decided to use the integration of two ideas, using initial compressed air for our initial launch and then activating the rockets momentarily after to allow us to ballistically fly to a thousand metre altitude. The uh, shuttle has features such as spring-loaded legs, so when it moves and sits on the moon base, it can be able to adjust to the uneven surface, so the shuttle can sit flat and also take off flat when needed. We've made use of the materials we have available for us, using the lunar rover wheels as gyroscopes to stabilise us during this effect, and when we're at our 1,000 metre altitude, it'll be displayed by the seven-segment display and the Doppler effect shown on our model. Some of the challenges we faced was producing this on the moon, if we were. Um, we overcome uh, the wire issue to find what superconducting wire on the moon. We're going to use magnesium from the moon's surface and boron from asteroids and meteorites. In the event that our um, rescue mission is slightly late or doesn't arrive, we've had a contingency plan of allowing ourselves to elevate back down increment in the rockets to allow us to a slow descent and reset the platform ready for a second launch. I think that if the, uh, one of the thrusters was to fail, which would be very unlikely because all the air is just like a cone which funnels the compressed air through and out, if it was to fail or fall off I think that the uh, shuttle launch would be in trouble. It was important for us to sort of get together as a team. As apprentices we don't usually come into direct contact on projects, however uh, for us to meet our deadlines and create a, a working model, uh, we need to work hard, work together and be proactive with our work. We know who the winners are. Congratulations, Bombardier. James Reed.